Welcome to match day. The time has arrived. So, you're gonna open your envelope, you're gonna tell us all where you're gonna be doing your residency, you're gonna pick the next envelope and then go put a pin in the map of the site of your residency. I hope you know where that, ge you know, <laughs> geography is. <clears throat> this will be a test. Right? You did extraordinarily well. The sites that you've matched at are spectacular. This class had the highest match rate in the history of the medical school. Because the day is full of excitement and a lot of anxiety. Uh, there's a lot of anxiety about what's in those envelopes, wherever they are. And um, there's also a lot of excitement because we're together as a class again. Uh, and it's been a while. Uh, during our first and second year, or our preclinical years, we spent a lot of time together. In fact, almost every minute together. And then during our third and fourth year, we're in different rotations, different locations, different parts of the state, different parts of the country. So it's not only exciting to see where we're going as individuals, but where we're going as a class. So uh, it's a great day. Well, I, I only applied to one school. I knew that I would get a great education here. Uh, and uh, I've had no regrets with, you know, coming here, so. When I interviewed here, I was also impressed by the approachability of the faculty. Uh, everyone uh, seemed genuinely interested in the uh, well-being and the su success of students. So what do you do as class mentor? And I said, well, I go to class with them, I drink with them, and I play poker with them. What could be a better, <laughs> what could be a better job than that? Well, I originally started out undergrad, I was going to be a vocal performance major, and that didn't work out really well. So I started, to, I randomly got placed from a communications major to a biology major, and I figured I'd do what that's fine. And so then I just started doing biology and chemistry, I liked it a lot, and I took a physiology course, and physiology was my favorite course of all time. So I just loved it and thought, I might as well just try medicine, and I just kind of tried, and I got in, so it was great. I went to undergrad here, and there was a program called the Medical Scholars Program that I kind of got into out of high school and kind of ushers you into medical school here. So I didn't have to take the MCAT if I came to <laughs> University of Wisconsin. So that was a big motivator. The uh, University of Wisconsin Department of Family Medicine is really one of the top programs in the country. So I'd be ecstatic to be able to stay in Wisconsin. If they say trust the match, like you'll end up where you're meant to be. And I really feel like that's true. I'm going into uh, physical medicine rehab. at Thomas Jefferson University, Philadelphia. You know, there's a lot of writing on the piece of paper when you open it, and the name of the place is on the bottom, so. <laughs> Transitional year, Northwestern, Dermatology, University of Minnesota. I am going into anesthesiology at the University of Wisconsin. to internal medicine. Honey, we're going home to Iowa. <laughs> uh, hey, Mark Morey, where are you going? I'm just excited about continuing my training. So the education here is broad and that's good. I, I've enjoyed, I've enjoyed it um, just because I really like learning, but um, orthopedics is broad and uh, I, I'm just really excited about um, you know, just continuing my training. I mean, it's like the more you know, the less you know. And it's just, it's all exciting to me uh, to have sort of the, the future uh, of medicine sort of at your fingertips. And there's so many exciting uh, things happening. I just, I'm really excited to be a part of all that. Doing orthopedic surgery? I didn't even apply to that place. Yeah. <laughs> at the uh, um, Mayo Clinic in Rochester. Yeah. I wonder if anybody will be going with you. We'll, we'll, we'll see. I mean, there's, there's been so many uh, ups and downs, you know, that, that you go through as a medical student. I, it's really hard to pick out you know, one thing. Second year. <laughs> um, it was a lot of sitting alone by yourself and studying and reading and 
just being in dark rooms when it was beautiful outside and forcing yourself to have to sit down and study. Um, so definitely by far, I think se second year was the worst part. Um, third year was difficult in that you didn't have control over your time. At least second year, you studied a lot, but you had flexibility of when you studied. But third year, people tell you where to be and when and when you can leave. And you know it doesn't really matter that you have some place you would like to be at you're kind of at the mercy of someone else. So that was difficult as well, but I still, no one could pay me a million bucks to do second year of med school again. I guess I'm not very smart, and so I just had to work really hard. And when I was a kid and through college, I worked several jobs full time, and I think that's the biggest thing, was just having to work so hard. And uh, I guess tenacity, I mean, you get tests back, you don't do really well on them. So you gotta go and do them again, and it's not fun to not do well, especially when you're used to doing really well. But I think tenacity and determination were the two big things. So that was, and I have great friends who are really helpful too. Rob Bain. <laughs> I'm doing general surgery at Guthrie Robert Packer Hospital in Pennsylvania. <laughs> I would say that the most memorable experience as a medical student was uh, my anatomy class. It was a time for us to get to know each other, um, our life, or our our learning revolved around uh, an anatomy tank and it was just a very important social experience as well. During that class we also got to know our professors very well. Um, they would you know, rotate from tank to tank and it was just a really great experience. Every year we have what's called a Dean's Cup competition. It's between the law students and the medical students. And it's a whole range of activities um, ranging from sports to bar trivia to Trivial Pursuit to Baking Contest, uh, and so it's a whole month-long event. My second year medical school, I actually ran it from the medical school side, and we had lost the previous two years, and the dean was pretty firm that we needed to win it this year, and we managed to pull it off right at the end. So we, first time in three years of medical school, we it back. Well, I guess I'd have to say we did this pudding wrestling thing um, first and second year, and we raised, oh my gosh, first year I think we raised like $500, and the second year we raised like, I think, $1,500. So, and I was the wrestling best champion both years in a row. So that was fun, just wrestling and pudding, I guess, is fun. I don't know, pudding wrestling our first year, I think was a, a very memorable experience. The, the whole of anatomy class was very memorable. Um, getting to dissect the cadavers, that was kind of something you always see on TV and it kind of feels surreal the first day you walk into the anatomy lab. Like you feel like you're on a movie, something like that. Just going to class and you know seeing the people that you know you enjoy being around and um, the the professors are you know become you know like like family. I mean you just spend so much time doing medicine that uh, you know you just really become close with the people you work with. You know, in uh, ancient times, an oracle warned Julius Caesar to beware the Ides of March. But if she were here with us today, she would be advising you to embrace and celebrate the Ides of March. What a fantastic day. And of course, uh, this fantastic day is largely due to your hard work, but it's also important to acknowledge all of your family, friends, and especially your teachers who helped you get here today. Congratulations to all. Uh, I'm not going to uh, tell you to uh, beware the Ides of March. Uh, I will give you two pieces of advice. Number one, party hardy. And number two, starting tomorrow, get as much sleep as you can before July 1. So congratulations to all you and your families. All right, um, I'm gonna be doing uh, plastic surgery at the University of Beverly Hills. Uh, <laughs> medic medicine. All right, thanks. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna be a shrink in Denver. I'm doing pediatrics at uh, UCSF. And radiology at the University of Minnesota. At Maine Medical Center in Portland, Maine. I'm doing emergency medicine at Christ Advocate in Chicago. I'm doing otolaryngology. Going into family medicine. Orthopedic surgery. I'm doing orthopedic surgery at University of Wisconsin. I'm going into anesthesiology. Doing otolaryngology at SUNY Upstate Medical University in Syracuse, New York. Anesthesiology. I'm doing internal medicine at the University of Michigan. I'm going to do emergency medicine. Pediatrics at the University of Wisconsin. All right.
but this is a fantastic school, fantastic faculty, and I just couldn't, I'm so blessed that I come here, it's unbelievable.